Hi, this is Baiju Vasudev and welcome back to my channel Pi by Me. Today we are going to start with Pure Mathematics 2, Chapter 1. This Chapter 1 consists of 6 subtopics. In this video we are going to be looking at 1.1 algebraic fractions and 1.2 dividing polynomials. 1.1 algebraic fractions is so simple, I am not going to explain much about this. You will be given algebraic fractions, you need to factorize the numerator and denominator and cancel out the common factors. For example, this question, you have a quadratic expression here. When you factorize this, you can write this as x plus 5 times x plus 4 and you have x plus 4 in the denominator. You can cancel these common factors. Mostly the questions are like this. You need to find the common factor. Sometimes you will have something like this. An x cube plus 3x square plus 2x upon x square plus 2x. You can take out the common factor. x as the common factor. So you will have x square plus 2x plus 3. x square plus 3x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 2. So you can cancel this x. Now again try to factorize this quadratic expression again. You can write it as x plus 2 into x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. So you can cancel x plus 2. So your answer is x plus 1. So mostly I think there is one exercise and mostly the questions are like this. You need to factorize and cancel out. There is nothing else. So I am not going to explain much about alge algebraic fractions. We are going to jump into 1.2 dividing polynomials. In topic 1.2 dividing polynomials, we are going to learn something called long division method. That's very important. You need to learn the long division method very clearly. What is a long division method? That's not new to us. We learn this in our lower classes. Let's say when you want to divide a number by 5 without using calculator. So you write the number and you write the divisor here. And we take the first number 1, there is no 5 in 1. So we take 11, 2 5s are 10, there are 2 5s in 11, remainder, remainder 1, and bring down the next term, 17 now, there are 3 5s in 17, 3 5s are 15, remainder 2. So this is our quotient, and this is our remainder. This is long division method. But instead of numbers, we are going to use polynomials. So when we want to divide a polynomial by another polynomial, we are going to use the long division method. So now we are going to divide this polynomial of degree 3 by this uh, linear factor x plus 1 using the long division method. So hear me out. We write this polynomial first. x cube plus 6x square plus 8x plus 3 and our divisor we put the divisor here same like dividing 117 by 5 so before we write the polynomial you need to take note of something let's say in the polynomial if there is a term missing let's say the polynomial is not 8 plus 3 it's just 3 so you see there is a x cube x square and the x term is missing. There is no x term, only the constant term. If this is the case, you need to put 0x here. Don't just write plus 3. You need to write it as 0x plus 3. And why do we need to write that? It will be easier if you apply when you apply the long division method, if you put it as 0x. That's the reason. So if any term missing, let's say the x square term also missing, put it as 0x square. But in this sum, we have all the terms, no terms missing. So write it as 8x plus 3. So that's the first, first one. So how do we apply the long division method? Listen carefully. Take the first term, x cubed, divide by this first term. x cubed divided by x is x squared. So take the first term, divide by the first term. That's your quotient. Write it as x squared. So when you multiply x squared by x plus 1, you will have x cubed plus 
x square 1 times x square is x square and to find this we need to cancel this x cube so we need to find a term or something here which will give you x cube when multiplied by x plus 1 so how do we find it take the first term divide by the first term you get x square and then change the sign always change the sign minus to plus or plus to minus now when you add them x cube minus x cube will be cancelled 6x square minus x square is 5x square now bring down the next term 8x and repeat the process repeat the process all the way until you get some reminder so what do we do again take the first term 5x square divide by the first term x so you will get 5x write the 5x here now take the 5x and multiply these two terms so you will have 5x square plus 5x change the sign don't forget to change the sign 5x square will be cancelled 8x minus 5x is 3x then bring down the next term I repeat this process continuously now take the first term again, divide by the first term, 3x divided by x is 3, so you put plus 3 here, take this 3 and multiply this, multiply by x plus 1, you will have 3x plus 3, and change the sign, your 3x and 3 will be cancelled, our remainder is 0. Okay, you need to know something. Your remainder will not always be zero. So if you get a number here, it can be positive or negative. Don't panic. It's just normal, completely normal. You will get zero or any number. So this is how we apply the long division method. Take the, I'm going to repeat this again. Write the polynomial first, then divisor here. Take the first term x cubed, divide by the first term. So you will get x squared. x squared is your quotient. So take x square, multiply both terms, change the sign, cancel the first, first term, 6x square minus x square is 5x square, bring down the next term, repeat the process. You are, you are just learning the long division method, so you need to do this, otherwise you will mess up the question. But along the way, when you practice more, you don't need to do this. You can straight away when you look at the term, you know, you know the first term the first term of the question which is to be multiplied with the divisor or uh, if you are confused you can do this take the first term divide by the first term of the divisor so this is our long division method so same like uh, let's say i solve i divide 115 by 5 115 by 5 two fives are 10 remainder 1 bring down the next term 3 fives of 15, my remainder is 0. So I can write this 115 as my divisor or the quotient 23 times the divisor. I can write if the remainder is 0, I can write this expression, this number as quotient times divisor. We are going to do the same thing here. Since our remainder is 0, this polynomial x cubed plus 6x squared plus 8x plus 3 can be written as our quotient times the divisor. Our quotient is x squared plus 5x plus 3. Same like this, quotient times divisor. When you simplify this, remove the brackets and simplify, you will get this polynomial. So that's how the long division method works. So what if you get a reminder some other number? Let's say instead of 3, you have 6 here. The rest are all same. When you bring down the 6 here, you will have uh, 3 times 1 is 3 and change the sign. 6 minus 3 is 3. Your remainder is not 0 now. So what do we do? How do we write this expression? Using the equation, divisor and the remainder. So let's look at this scenario. Let's say we are dividing 117 by 5. When you divide 117 by 5, it's 17. So your remainder is 2. So you can write this number 117 as 
question times divisor which will give you 115 plus the remainder. You can write 117 as question times divisor plus the remainder. If it is minus 2, you put it as minus 2. Same thing for this polynomial also. You have a remainder 3, so you write, uh, write it as question times divisor plus the remainder. So you can write in this way. So whenever the question say, divide this polynomial by x plus 1 and write, uh, write the polynomial in this form, ax plus b into px square plus qx plus r. They basically want you to write the expression as a divisor times quotient. So just apply the long division method, take the quotient and the divisor, put it in multiplication. So this will give you the original polynomial. Or let's say the question says, uh, write the polynomial in this form plus s. That tells us you will get a reminder something here, not zero, some other number. So put the number here as s. That's it. This is what long division method is. Maybe I'm going to solve one more question so you can understand this long division method, method better. Another one, we are going to divide this polynomial by x plus 2. So when you look at the polynomial, the x square term is missing. So we are going to write it as x cube plus 0 x square plus x plus 10. And our divisor is x plus 2. And we use the long division method. Take the first term, x cube, divide by the first term. So x cube divided by x is x square. That's the first term of our quotient. Now take x square and multiply both the terms. You will have x cube plus 2x square. Change the sign. So this will be cancelled. 0 minus 2 is minus 2x square. Bring down the next term. So repeat the process. Take the first term minus 2x square. Divide by the first term here. So you will have minus 2x. So put this minus 2x here. Take minus 2x, multiply both the terms, you will have minus 2x squared minus 4, 4x. And change the sign. This will be cancelled, you will have 5x. x plus 4x is 5x. Bring down the next term. Take the first term, divide by x, you will have 5. So 5 times x plus 2 is 5x plus 10. And change the sign will be cancelled. 0. So you can write this polynomial x cube plus x plus 10 as multiplication of this quotient x square minus 2x plus 5 into our divisor. That's it. Because the remainder is 0. If the remainder is let's say like minus 2 or something, for example, put this minus 2 here. Okay, in this case it's 0, so leave it as it is. They might ask you to factorize this uh, function, this, uh, this expression completely. When they say factorize completely, you divide and you write the polynomial as a multiplication of quotient times remainder. And this quotient is a quadratic expression. We know how to factorize the quadratic expression. So let's see whether you can factorize this. If you can factorize this, write it as two factors. For example, let's say I take an easier one. Let's say you have x square plus 3x plus 2 here. Your quotient is x square plus 3x plus 2, for example. When you factorize this, you will have x plus 2 into x plus 1 on our device at x plus 2 also. So when the question says, Factorize the expression completely, apply the long division method, write the function as a multiplication of quotient times rem remainder and try to factorize the quotient again. So you will get three factors. When we divide a number, I'm going to take the 115 again. When you divide it by 5, you get 2 5s are 10, remainder 1, 15, bring out this term 15. 3 5s are 15, our remainder is 0. 
When you divide 115 by 5, the remainder is 0. There is a special name for this divisor. We call it a factor. So 115 is a factor of is a factor of sorry 5 is a factor of 115 only if the remainder is 0 same thing for polynomial also when you divide a polynomial by some linear linear expression and if your remainder is 0 we call the divisor as factor so when the question says check whether uh, this divisor can be anything is a factor of the polynomial use the use the long division method and check whether you get remainder 0. If the remainder is 0, you can say it's a factor, otherwise it's not. I have taken this question number 19 from exercise 1b. You are given f of x. Show that 4x minus 1 is a factor of f of x and write f of x in the form 4x minus 1 into a quadratic exp expression. And then part b, hence show that the equation, the actual function f of x equals 0 has exactly one real solution. We are given this f of x, a polynomial, and they want you to show that 4x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. We just learned if it is a factor, when you use long division method, your remainder will be 0. So we are going to use the long division method. So write 12x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2x minus 1, and we divide it by 4x minus 1. So we learned long division method already. Take the first term 12x cubed, divide by the first term of the divisor. So you will have 3, 3x squared. So 3x squared is our quotient, first term of the quotient. Take 3x squared, multiply both the terms. You will have 12x cubed minus 3x squared. So change the sign. The 12x cube will be cancelled. 5 plus 3 is 8x squared. Bring down the next term. Plus 2x. And repeat the process. 8x squared, the first term divided by the first term will give you 2x. 8x squared divided by 4x is 2x. Take 2x and multiply both. You will have 8x squared minus 2x. And change the sign. 8x squared will be cancelled. 2 plus 2 is 4x. Bring down the next term, minus 1. You see 4x minus 1 here, that tells us that we need to be multiplied by 1. So 1 into 4x minus 1. And change the sign. Everything will be cancelled. Your remainder is 0. When the remainder is 0, 4x minus 1, there is a special name for this 4x minus 1. We call it a factor of f of x. That's it. The question says, they did not ask you to verify whether it's a factor or not. When, when they say verify whether it's a factor, it can be 0 or it can be some other number. If it is 0, say that it's a factor, otherwise it's not. But the question says, show that it's a factor. So your remainder must be 0. You are not supposed to get any other number here because they say show that it's a factor. So it's a factor already. We need to prove that it's a factor. So we use the long division method. So you can write this function f of x as your quotient 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 into divisor 4x minus 1. Now in part b we need to prove that this function f of x has exactly one real solution. How do we find the solutions of this cubic polynomial? We factorize them, factorize the polynomial. So we can write the polynomial as a multiplication of uh, two expressions, the quadratic and the linear. We need to equate them to zero separately. When you equate them to zero, your 4x minus 1 is zero. So x equals 1 by 4. That's one of the real solution for this f of x. When you equate this to zero, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0 and try to find the solution. Your b square minus 4ac, b square minus 4ac is less than 0. It's a negative number, so you cannot find any real solution for this quadratic expression. That tells us the function has only one real solution. So whenever they say 
factorize the function completely, apply the long division method, write the function as multiplication of quotient times remainder, then try to factorize this quotient also into two factors. And when they say find all the solutions of this function, equate the factors 1 by 1 to 0, you will get all the real solutions. But in this particular case, the function has only one real solution. Because when you equate this, this to 0, you even you use your calculator, you won't get any real solution for this quadratic equation. Since we are talking about long division method, I would like to teach you one more method called synthetic division. Because you need to know how the synthetic division works also. Instead of long division method, you can use this method also to find the equation, to divide the polynomial by a factor. Okay, maybe uh, before this, I'll take a simple uh, function first with the simple divisor, not 4x minus 1, something like x minus 1 or x plus 1, something like that. Then I'll show you how to divide, how to apply the same method for this function as well. Okay, before applying the synthetic division for this polynomial, I'm going to take a simple one, simple divisor now, another polynomial. So let me show you how this uh, synthetic division works. Before that, we are going to divide this polynomial by x plus 2 using long division method. We write this polynomial x cube minus x square plus x plus 14 divided by the divisor x plus 2. Use the long division method. So x cubed by x is x square. So take x square and multiply both. You will get x cubed plus 2x square and change the sign so minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3x square minus 3x square bring down the next term first minus 3x square by x is minus 3x take minus 3x multiply both you get minus 6x and then change the sign this will be cancelled 1 plus 6 is 7x plus bring down the next term 7x plus 14 you need to multiply everything by 7 so 7x plus 14, when you change the sign, it will be 0. So our quotient is x squared minus 3x plus 7. So this function, let's say this is f of x, you can write this function as divisor x plus 2 into quotient x squared minus 3x plus 7. Now, I am going to show you how the synthetic division works. We take this polynomial, we are going to divide by x plus 2. You don't need to take the whole polynomial, just take the coefficients. 1 minus 1, 1, 40. 1 minus 1, 1, 40. Just draw a line here. It's not a long division method. This method is called synthetic division. And if you are dividing by x plus 2, you put x plus 2 equals 0 and find x. x is minus 2. So, write the term minus 2 here. So, that's the first step. Write all the coefficients. If any term missing here, let's say there is no x square, put it as 0. The coefficient as 0. And then, the divisor, put it as equal to 0 and find the x value. Write the x value here. For example, for this question, if you put it as x, this equal to 0, your x will be 1 upon 4. So, you need to write 1 upon 4 here. Now, listen to me carefully, always write the first term as 0, always, okay? So, within this line, if you have two numbers here, you need to add them, 1 plus 0, here you always add them. 1 plus 0 is 1, write the number here, that's the first step. Always put the first term as 0 and add them. Now, whichever number here, you multiply the number with minus 2 this minus 2. So, minus 2 times my, uh, 1 is minus 2. Write the number here. Repeat the process. You add them. Minus 1 plus minus 2 is minus 3. Multiply these two. You will get minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. And again add them. 7 minus 2 times uh, 7 is minus 14. This is your remainder. When you apply long division method, the last term is your remainder, right? This is your reminder here. And using these three terms, you can just form an uh, expression. This is 7, this is coefficient of x, this is coefficient of x squared, which is same as our quotient 
when we divide using long division method. So this method is called synthetic division method. I'm going to repeat this method one more time. First write all the coefficients of this polynomial 1 minus 1, 140. Then just draw a line and take the divisor. You don't put the divisor here. Equate it to 0, find x. Don't put it as plus 2. When you equate it to 0, x is minus 2. So write minus 2 here and the first term is always 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Here you need to add the numbers. 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 2 times 1. You need to multiply these two put it here. And minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Multiply these two numbers and write the number here. Uh, write the result here. Minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. 1 plus 6. Here you need to add it. 1 plus 6 is 7. Minus 2 times 7 is minus 14. 14 minus 14 is 0. And use this to form a quadratic expression. x square minus 3x plus 7. So you are dividing a, a polynomial with degree 3 by a polynomial with degree 1. So your quotient will be degree 2, a polynomial of degree 2. If you are dividing a polynomial with degree 4 by a linear polynomial, you will get x cube. You will have four terms here. So x cube, x square, x and constant term. So your quotient will have degree 3. So this is called the synthetic division method. This, this is easy actually. So if you are, you are allowed to apply this method also. If the question did not specifically say long division method, you can apply this method also. But there is one special case scenario. If it is a linear factor like this, there is no coefficient here for x. It's so simple. If there is a coefficient, you see here it's 4x. So there is something we need to do at the end after applying the synthetic division. So now I'm going to apply the synthetic division for this polynomial. Write all the coefficients. 12, 5, 2, minus 1. If any term missing, put it as 0. Then we are dividing it by 4, 4x minus 1, let's say. 4x minus 1. So when you equate it to 0, your x is 1 by 4, positive 1 by 4, right, positive 1 by 4. And the first term is always 0 and add then 12. 1 by 4 times 12, use your calculator, it's 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 1 by 4 times 8 is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 by 4 times 4 is 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. You won't always get 0 here. If this number, if this is a factor, the remainder will be 0. That's the reason we got 0 here. Now what do we do? We form a quadratic expression. 12x squared plus 8x plus 4. You see, but that's not the answer. That's not the quotient. Our, both the quotients are different. So there is something we need to do. When you have the coefficient of x is not 1. Here the coefficient of x is 4. So you need to divide this expression by 4 finally. So when you divide by 4, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. That's the same as this quotient. So this is called the synthetic division method. And you are allowed to apply this method also. So we are at the end of the session. We are going to sum up whatever we learned. We started with algebraic fractions. There is nothing much to learn in algebraic fractions. You will be given an algebraic fraction. Factorize the numerator and denominator and try to look out for a common factor. Cancel it out. That's it. But the main thing we learned is long division method. How to divide a polynomial by another polynomial. So you need to know how to use the long division method. And there are a few points you need to take note. If there, if there is any term missing in the polynomial, put it as 0x squared. If x squared term is missing. If x term is missing, put it as 0x. If the constant term is missing, just leave it. Or if you want to put it as plus 0, that's fine. And then you can write the function, the polynomial as 
multiplication of quotient times remainder. And then when they say factorize completely, factorize the quotient also into two factors. And when they ask you to find the solutions, all the solutions of the actual polynomial, equate the factors one by one to zero. So these are all the things we learned. We are going to learn factor theorem in our next video.